They're walking forward. And they're off. A St. Patrick's Day cheer gets the four Irish trained horses away in the Grade 1 Turner's Novices Chase. The first race on day three of the festival, Galapin des Champs, was big and bold over fence number one. Not so El Barra at the back of the field, who just jumped a little bit away to his right. They go now towards fence number two of the 16. Galapin des Champs has got a unchallenged lead once again he jumps the second like a puissance wall he gave it about a foot to spare over Bob Ollinger in second and then Bustleton in third and El Barra as he did at fence number one jumped just a little way to his right over fence number two a long run now down the hill on towards the four plane fences taken in the home straight for the first time Galapin des Champs clear by four lengths to Bob Ollinger in second he in turn now has got a break of six lengths over Bustleton in third on the inside of El Barra. On now towards fence number three, Paul Townend and Galapin des Champs come to it. Again, he spends plenty of time in the air over Bob Ollinger over in second. In third, Bustleton, and last of the quartet is El Barra. On now towards fence number four, Galapin des Champs comes to it. He measured that one slightly better. He was quicker in the air that time. Leads now by three lengths to Bob Ollinger in second. Seven lengths then back to the other duo. Bustleton racing on the inside of El Barra, who's been a bit straighter at the last two fences than he was at the first two. On now to what will be the second last in a circuit's time. Galapin des Champs comes towards fence number five. He led there by three lengths to Bob Ollinger. A change for third now as El Barra moves on past Bustleton, now relegated to last of the quartet over fence number six and Galapin des Champs just got in a little tight that time just nudges the birch and so they get a real cheer from the St. Patrick's Day crowd as they set out on one more complete circuit and another 10 fences ahead of them in the Turner's novice chase and it's Galapin des Champs and Paul Townend out in front to Rachel Blackmore and Bob Ollinger racing in second El Barra and Patrick Mullins in third and Bustleton and JJ Slevin last of the four as now they head just slightly downhill at this point on now towards the first fence down the back straight fence number seven Galapin des Champs comes to it measured that well so to Bob Ollinger over in second El Barra a little low Bustleton the back marker on now towards the water jump taken as fence number eight as they go towards halfway Galapin des Champs at the water skips over it with a three length break over in second Bob Ollinger now in third El Barra and in fourth Bustleton as they go now towards the first of two open ditches Galapin des Champs stood a mile off that but he really had to be scopy to get to the other side there he stood off almost a stride too soon Galapin des Champs but he was clever enough over another plain one Galapin des Champs lead down to two lengths now to Bob Ollinger in second and now there's a break of 12 lengths back to El Barra and Bustleton a mistake at the back of the field a dog leg turn carries them now to the top of the hill fence number 11 the final open ditch and a good jump there by the leading duo Galapin des Champs now leads by only two lengths to Bob Ollinger in second place the other two are safely over but they're now 15 lengths behind El Barra in third and three lengths then back to Bustleton the back marker as the leading duo are now over the fence right on the summit and now they turn to go towards the fence which brings them slightly down the hill this will be the fourth from home in the 12th running of the Turner's novices chase Galapin des Champs comes to it winged it jumped it much better than Bob Ollinger who breasted that fence in second place he hit that quite hard the other duo just coming to it now well Barra over safely so too Bustleton but at the moment this is a private match race and the race is on between Galapin des Champs and Bob Ollinger down towards the third from home it was Galapin des Champs who held the lead Bob Ollinger ridden for the first time by Rachel Blackmore as now they begin to make the run down the hill and on towards the final quarter of a mile in the Turners and it's still Galapin des Champs and Paul Townend who have kicked off the turn the lead opens up to nearly three lengths over Bob Ollinger in second place the second last looms and Galapin des Champs has made every yard to this point he's clear by nearly three lengths over two out he jumps it well Bob Ollinger is over in second there's 30 lengths back to the other two Bustleton is now in third but down towards the final fence Galapin des Champs is away and clear and he's over safely no he's not he knuckles on landing and he is down Galapin des Champs is down at the last and Bob Ollinger has been left clear with the race on a plate 
Bob Ollinger now coming up the hill in the hands of Rachel Blackmore. How fortuitous is he? He is the one who's putting the clear round, and Bob Ollinger is three out of three over fences and wins the Turners. Bob Ollinger is the winner for Rachel Blackmore and for Henry de Bromhead. Busselton will stay on up the hill in second, and in third will be El Barra. Henry de Bromhead has just said it's not how you want to win. He's just watching the stumble after the final fence from Galloping to Sean Wong. Well clear of Bob Ollinger, but it is Bob Ollinger's name that will be on the trophy of the turning novices chase. Um, congratulations. I know that's not really the way that a competitor like you wants to win. No, it's not. You know, it's not. Look, we all want to win, but it's not quite. I have to say, I didn't think I'd ever see a horse that would make Bob look like that. Uh, so fair play to the, you know, Gallopin. Uh, he, he, that was some performance he put in. But, you know, that's it. Like, you know, you, we lose races like that as well, and unfortunately, it just happens. Yeah. So it's ironic that it was our our jumping was the one that was question you know and, and I was just about to say that to you. yeah yeah but you know that's this game is just mental isn't it you know and it's uh, always expect the unexpected I think so it's fantastic we're, we're delighted to win and <laughs> you know we need to show a bit of joy as well yeah. no no you do you do yeah. did you think his speed was just perhaps blunted with the rain that had well, fallen? I was surprised to see him um, off the bridle so soon but I mean the other obviously the other horses it's, uh, you know I, I don't know as I say I never thought I'd see a horse do that to him. And one or two mistakes from him yeah, seemed to hand the, the advantage to yeah. Definitely, yeah. he walloped that, oh. yeah. So we still have to work on the jumping, you know. But I thought first circuit he jumped really mm, well, yeah. you know. Exactly. Yeah, I thought so. And um, But it's all work in progress. It's only his third run over fences. And, you know, he's won a, a grade three, a grade one. Mm -hmm. It's pretty brilliant it's fantastic but as i say you don't like to win a race like that but you have to just celebrate it because you've got absolutely. to get round. absolutely yeah. now you've said it yeah, yeah. yeah. so a dual, a dual cheltenham festival winner many congratulations yeah. thank you very much thank thanks uh, yeah he is uh, willie mullins uh, alongside me uh, look we're all gobsmacked watching because he's you know well we know what's happened what's your assessment of the whole race Willie? um i'm looking at him and think okay we made the right choice coming for this back to this trip and I'm thinking after that I, I could go back to two miles if I wanted to we, we, we've just got to smarten up his jumping in the early part of the race and I think over a shorter trip we'd have horses to accompany him where well, he was out on his own there today and he was just idling in front and uh, it's just one of those things what happened at the end you know he's done he's doing everything right through the whole race and um, just that's it what, 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 did, what did Paul say about no god it's not is it what did, what did Paul say about the last he landed properly and he just slipped after landing so just one of those things yeah. um, Henry de Bromhead said he, he never thought he would see a horse do that to Bob I mean yeah. up until the last it was it was relentless it was unbelievable it, it was and, and when you consider how much ground he was losing and what effort he put in over the first four or five fences I mean, for a horse to balloon fences like that uh, that, that takes a huge amount out of them you know I didn't believe he would have anything left at the end to fight off Rachel when she would come to him coming down the hill and he just got into another gear, you know, so. Uh, I'm very pleased with the performance and just, uh, well, I thought we're getting used to horses falling at the last round here. I've I am, anyhow, between Nanny Power and Benny Didja, so uh, it's not something we, you know, we're used to it. I'm not sure you can ever get used to it. Listen, Willie, I really appreciate your thoughts. Thank you very much. Let's hear from Rachel Blackmore. Doing a winning interview is always difficult in these circumstances, but Rachel Blackmore can concentrate on the positives. Bob Ollinger is a dual festival winner. You have to jump the fences in order to win, and that's exactly what he did in the Turner's Novices Chase. What were you thinking during the course of the race, Rachel? Yeah, look, it's fantastic to win, um, but you know nobody likes winning in those circumstances. And brilliant to see Paul and Gallop and Champs are both okay, and uh, you know that, that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, look, I was I, I was happy with him throughout the race. Um, you know, he made one or two little little errors, but I thought on the whole he jumped well enough. There's definitely room for improvement there, but he's his jumping is improving the whole time. Um, to be honest, four out, I, I wasn't um, delighted with him. I thought I'd be travelling a bit better. Um, so I don't know if it was the the true Bob Ballinger today in some ways. You know, even even when I galloped up the hill, um, you know, he didn't do it in, in in the kind of fashion he did last year. and. And you know, look, I was never going to catch Paul if if, if he stood up. Um, so, uh, 
yeah, it, it, str strange emotions, but uh, look, Jesus, it's unbelievable to get a winner. Yeah, and it's it's important to have a winner for Rob Cole, for, for Brian Aitchison here. I mean, Bob Ollinger was such a brilliant winner of the Ballymore, and he's got his career in front of him. What do you hope he might be? Do you think you can see him as a Gold Cup horse next season? Yeah, I think this is this is one of the best horses Henry has in his yard, um, and it's fantastic. Brian Lowe's first festival winner now, um, and yeah, I just wouldn't be too disheartened by mm. by the manner in which we finished, albeit a winner, because I I just know that wasn't the true the true Bob today. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know, but uh, no, he's a he's a fair horse, and geez, we're very lucky to have him. And you'll know this from having ridden him elsewhere, but could the rain that fell yesterday, could that have contributed? Could it have blunted his speed a little? A, a little bit, but to be honest, no. It's beautiful jumping ground out there. It's, it's soft ground. Uh, you know, um, I, 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 I wouldn't like to put it down as that as an excuse. He, he's a very, very good horse, and, and you know, it was heavy in punches down the last day. Um, and I was, I was kind of well beaten. Uh, in, in a way before my speed was going to come into it and um, so look he might have definitely jumped a little bit better if the ground had was a bit nicer um, but look uh, basically in summary it's fantastic to get a winner it is and you're yeah. second of the week after the important the important ones as well bob Ollinger and honeysuckle and you are allowed to enjoy it because you did actually win well congratulations rachel thank you very much